Hi folks, thank you for joining me once again. My name is Nick on the ZX Spectrum 128K. I'm looking at a homebrew. This one's called Get Out of Mars, published by No Entiendo in 2021. It's a platformer. You're stranded on the planet Mars and you must get items, as we define our keys here, to repair your spaceship so then you can leave. It was created as a part of a competition, the ZX Dev Media d in 2021. There's a bumping soundtrack in this, but I'm going to have to turn it right down because last time I reviewed a game, it was a Astro Phobos or Dark Transit 2. This music uh, was claimed by the um, by the person who wrote the music automatically. So that's a bit of a shame. But anyway, I got to do that. But let's see how the game uh, plays. Uh, it's been written um, by Christian M. Gonzalez, I think, who gave us other games such as Gandalf, Manic Pietro, and the Pietro Brothers, which I love. But the music is really, really good on this. But I can't risk the uh, the copyright claim. Uh, it's not a strike as such when that happens. It's just that the the author uh, claims the whole video, and you know, I the music is good, but I don't want to work for them. So we'll just see how the game uh, plays. If you want to download this, um, I've got it from ZX Spectrum Computing. Post right, no Entiendo in 2021. Now, I think we've got to collect these, these yellow things as well, coins. But we need to find items, all eight, to repair the ship. The map is quite big. Uh, the graphics are really a cool. You see in the bottom middle in green there, I think that's the items we've collected so far, or items. We've got one key. Uh, we've got four of those. Uh, we've got no keys. Four of those. Now we go through that door. And uh, three lives, I think. Oops. Crash into any of the stuff, you're doomed. Uh, you can fire to kill things, you can see I killed that uh, blue blob, but you've got to be right next to it so you won't see actually the firepower exactly. Uh, what I like about this, the character you're controlling is in three colours. Well, I do like it when the Spectrum does that, that didn't really happen back in the day. So a cyan helmet, a white body and green trousers. If you are wearing green trousers then comment uh, below. So quite nice but better with the music as I say. But there we go. It's it's weird times. It's weird times that you used to get claims. We well, never used to get claims on the Spectrum sort of like games, but that's the way it's going. Uh, it's turned into big business again, I presume. Good. And then there's these great uh, soundtracks in things like um, Dante Riffic as well. I mean, I might not get a claim for this, but I can't risk it because I saw the the same musician was involved in this one as the other one. So do check out other stuff that Christian M. Gonzalez has done. As I say, Gandalf was great. Manic Pietro, I loved. Uh, that was like a remake of Manic Minor. Uh, they redid the screens, but they also gave you 20 different screens. But well, you could control Luigi and the other one. <laughs> and uh, what's his name? Mario, that's it, the famous one of the two. Uh, the jumping of this is, is okay. It's moving quite uh, nicely. Uh, everything seems a little bit small, but because of that, you've got more um, stuff on each screen. Every Wednesday, we do our own room. Uh, if you want to... Um, Look at other ZX Spectrum games, there's a big old playlist now, so click on my username and then the uh, playlist tab. Right. Good that it's got checkpoints as well, so if you die you'll restart there. Silly Jetman it said there, have I done something wrong? Right, boof. Uh, the, the circles of the exclamation mark on are supposed to give us clues, but that's a jetpack up there maybe. Jetpack, right we've got that. Oops. And I killed that thing as well. So we can't use that jetpack, I don't think. But that's another item we need, I uh, believe, uh, to get out. Now there's there's um, Martians going backward and forward back there. So it is life on Mars. And there is the proof. If you complete this game, then let me know. This might be the first time you've seen it. But every time I see the title, Get Out of Mars, although it's not the same phrase, I'm just reminded by that Total Recall thing with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Get your ass to Mars. And that was a terrible impression. So down we go. There is a map available as well on Spectrum Computing. It's quite a big-ish game as I get killed by lightning. Right, silly jet man. I've already got the jetpack. Go, go, go. Uh, I'd imagine there's a great game over sequence when the ship takes off and you escape Mars. Down we go. Is that going to kill me? Oh, oh yes. Down onto Spikes. A la Tomb Raider, Prince of Persia, and any other game where you can fall on spikes. Put your favourite game where you fall on spikes below, but don't do it in real life. So I don't know what other games were a part of the ZX Dev uh, Media D makes in 2021, but every so often there are a competition, and it just produced such cool games where people trying to outdo each other. The ZX Spectrum homebrew scene, whoops, is very very vibrant at the moment. Do look at comments that happen in the uh, green uh, section. That'll give you clues what to do, and zap it says there too. Looks very uh, um, windows is doesn't it really, that thing below. But the Windows operating system isn't on the Spectrum, well not yet anyway. 
good graphic of the space van in the bottom left. So, you know, it's very, very detailed. A lot of care has been taken into this. So it's an action platformer, one could say. Right, get down. Good, right, we got to there this time. Trying to collect the coin, but more importantly, the eight items. I don't know if this is influenced by that film, The Martian, where he was stranded on a Mars, but he, he had to be rescued, really. He couldn't repair, he couldn't really repair a rocket. Uh, that great song in by David Bowie, or Bowie, however you want to say it, Starman. There's a Starman waiting in the sky. He'd like to come and meet us, but I think he'll blow our minds. He certainly will. Bob, 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 bob. Now download this just as you can hear the, whoops, just so you can hear the music, that's what I would say. You might be able to hear it if you strain your ears a bit, but I'm going to have to turn the thing right down. Good, right, uh, God. As I say, you can fire, but you have to be right next to the person. If you land on their head, you're dead. Tasty brains, that thing says. That's what zombies used to say, isn't it? Uh, got quite a few lives here. Does it say 17? That can't be right. Surely I haven't got 17 lives. There we go. But, you know, games like Dan Terrific, it gave you 50. So maybe it's trying to it lend itself to make a more difficult game then. Not as difficult as those Dante Rific games for sure. One, two, and three. Check out the reviews of those. If you want a super duper, really hard challenge, then have a uh, look at that one. Whoa, dearie me! Come on, Nick. Come on, you can do this. I'm, I'm seeing a bit of the map. It all seems about red and uh, magenta. -y. Oh, there's this thing firing out the side. I've only just seen. Oh man, so many good homebrews in 2021. Hopefully there'll be loads in 2022 as well, but I'm still catching up with them. That's an item. I think I need to four the ice blocks, blocks to get actually that middle thing. But anyway, oh and onto spikes it go. Ouch it hurts it says, and it's not wrong. It is not wrong. Uh, big shout out to the members as well. Thank you for keeping this thing on the road as we gradually go through. I think that 11 is live, you know. If you want to become a member, click on the join button. It is the hope one day I can do this uh, full time. Uh, lots of improvements coming in 2022. Hopefully you've seen a few already. It is gradual getting the equipment. And then, of course, uh, it's not just having the equipment. It's learning how to get the best out of it. But, you know, regardless of that, it will always be uh, fun. I know some people aren't bothered about the tech, but they're just bothered about the stress busting and the banter. And that will continue to be exactly the same. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. But, it, it, you know, what can you do? Doobie doobie doobie. This is almost a genre in itself, really. Spacemen walking around a planet. Check out Astro Phobos, Dark Transit, and Dark Transit 2. Of often they're quite difficult, but I'm getting a bit of a play out of this one. I don't know what that blue blob is. Some amoeba of doom. If you are an amoeba of doom, then comment in the comment section below as so we're going to get that key, I hope. My favourite key is the monkeys. Right, so different sort of aliens down there. They're like those zombies, but they're a bit fatter. And they've got red trousers on, I think. Well, a bit of them's red, anyway. Boom, boom, boof. Right, okay. Now, there's another key through there. Which is the best way to go? I don't know. If we go that way, we can get a key back again. Yeah, I think we should have gone the other way, because now we can't get the other key. But anyway, we've got power boots. Power boots on. Let's go through this. That's another checkpoint. Lives left 10. We've got 25 coins now, and I've landed on a spike like a big jump nincompoop, silly person. This won't be a complete walkthrough. It's about seeing how you could have got on on your first or second go. And like a lot of these homebrews, uh, if this had come out back in the day, I would have played this a lot, despite not really doing that much. There's the Mafana. That's one of the objects. Right. Oops. You can't drop down too far. I don't know, I think there's some ice, oh Nicky, Wally, I think there's some ice blocks down the left. So this is very tricky time in this screen, this is quite cruel. So do one jump and two jump, boof, boof, oh, oh dear. You could lose all your lives here, so this is, this is the first of the super, oh god, this is the first of the super tricky bits. Five lives left. Right, oh look, I'm not getting any better am I? Right, get timing, I need to just do, get it, ready. Steady. Ugh. Ready, steady, die. That's a good program. Oh, look at this. I need to get out of here. I don't think this this uh, this stage is doing me very good. I think uh, the review is going to end in here. So, good animation on this. Good graphics. It's quite tricky. It's, it's original. I can't think of any game that looks quite like this. Different colours there. It's, it's very entertaining, but uh, you're going to get these bits where it's super tricky. Right, I've got over that. Now, what's the time in here? Um, I'm just trying to work out the best way. 
Might have to drop down to where that zombie is, but as soon as I drop down one ledge, I'm extremely vulnerable. Right, hang on a minute. I just want that zombie to go to the right. No, oh, Nicky. Is that it? No, one life left. Uh, <laughs> no lives left. I, I quite like that. Apologies again, I had to turn the music down because the music really does add a lot uh, to this. So yeah, hope you liked having a look at that one. Another quality homebrew, but anything with Christian N. Gonzalez involved in tends to be really good anyway. So I recommend this one. So that was um, Get Out of Mars on the Zenit Spectrum 128K, published by No Entiendo in 2021. A rather cool uh, platformer there based on Mars. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, homebrews, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. You're always more than welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you for watching the videos. It's really appreciated and helps the channel grow and helps with the watch time as well. Well, until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.